guys, so today I am doing the, it's kind of like smoky, um, it's a picture of Jennifer Aniston that I found that I really, really loved. I thought it was gorgeous, so I took a picture of it on my phone, and now I'm going to show you guys. So this is the picture. It's just really, her eyes are just kind of neutral, but the rest of her is bold. Like, her eyeshadow is really calm, her lips are calm, her face makeup's calm, but then her liner and her mascara is so bold. So, I've done everything on this eye except for mascara because I really wanted to show you guys how I make it vibrant. So, we're going to go ahead and get started. First, you want to take your brush, and you want to get a cup of water and damp it. Now, what I'm going to do is angle the cup and brush my brush right like that. So, not in the water, but on the part that you've angled it. You could probably figure that out. It sounds kind of confusing, but it's really not. So I'm using this middle color, which is Clinique South Beach. And I'm putting this all over my lip. I like, you could just get a cream shadow, but I kind of like dampening my brush. I just feel it's so bold. It gives a great color. Then, you're, while your brush is still a little damp, you're taking VU. That's this color right here. This is Lancome in their color effects. No, Sensational Effects Eyeshadow Quad. So, I'm putting this right back here. like that. So that's really, really pretty. Then, ooh, my bad. <laughs> now I am taking this white color, which is daylight, and again, I'm dampening my brush because I'm dampening my eyeliner brush from um, Essence of Beauty this. It's the eyeliner brush. And again, I'm doing the steam thing and, okay, you can see the water right there. You're gonna swipe your brush up there. Because that's damp. So, I'm just taking the tip like this and just going over it. So you get some on there. And I'm putting this right on the inner corner. You could use a pencil, which I also have over here. Um, like this. But I kind of just like using shadow because I, I think it's just a little quick. I already did my face, so really quick, I know I skipped over it, I'm just going to review. I used dual finish, well, well first I put my concealer and touch up on, so I put that there and right here, then I took this and I blended it all together, then I have my Tarte Target Princess Powder Bronzer, and then I just took Bobbi Brown Nectar Blush. So that's what I did. I know, I skipped right over it. You could do your brows, but I think they look dark enough, because in the picture hers are very, very dark. So make sure they're pretty dark. Then I'm taking black eyeliner. You want this to be heavy black, not like a smoke kind of like um, this, because you're going to need this for a different section of your eye. So. 
make sure you get a nice black liner. I find black liner works the best anyway. So I'm looking in the mirror just to, I'm putting this on my tear duct. nice heavy and black then I'm putting this right on my upper tear duct I mean I don't know if it's called the upper tear duct tear duct but whatever and you're connecting it at the other corner I did an eyelash in my eye. Okay. So just like that. It's really heavy, really dark, but beautiful. And this is waterproof, so that's amazing. And it's double-sided. That's pretty cool. Then I'm taking Revlon Timeliner for Eyes and Smoke. That's the color I showed you before. This is your secondary color. This is going on, like, right there. That's kind of just like backing it up and giving it more dimension. Just blend it in a little bit so it's not super, super dark. Now for your lashes. I'm not even curling my lashes. Oh, I skipped a step. Now what I'm doing, just to get a little more white, I'm taking a smudger this or um, the one I'm going to be using and that's this. This is on the end of my brow line. <sighs> You're going to dampen this and take Sugar Sugar by Clinique in this trio. Now you're going to back up the white that you have applied because that's giving it more and more pop just every time. Okay. So now this is one of the last steps. What you're going to do, this is the second to last step besides lips. You're putting blue liner in the end, just right there, just to give it a little color. Just like that, just right in your corner to, I think it brightens it up. Now I'm using Flash Plus Volume by CoverGirl. This isn't my favorite, but I have to say it works amazing with this, because this does give volume. So, I'm going to show you guys how I do this. First, you just put a regular coat of mascara, like that. Ooh, had a twitch. Like that, now you're going to go back and forth three times. Now go inside, inside, and then you're looking down and brushing this over your lashes quick. Now really quick for your lips, I'm using a Lancome Juicy Tube in Simmer, which is a great pale color. That's the look, guys. I hope.